Hey guys, so today I wanted to go over the TiVo Tarantula, the upgrades I did to it, and the results I got from each one of them. Now, as many of you may remember, this was actually given to me by Joe from over at uh, the 3D Printing Professor. Uh, great guy. I was passing through uh, Utah on the way back from Colorado, uh, I believe it was October last year, and I uh, met up with Joe and got to eat with him and his family and, and got to hang out with him for, for a few hours. And before I left, he said, hey, I've got this printer that I'll never assemble. If I give it to you, will you assemble it? I'm like, sure. He gave me the TiVo Tarantula. Now, I, like many, many other people, have heard all the horror stories about it. Some of them are founded, some of them are not. And we'll go over that here in a moment. So, I finally recently got the chance to go ahead and assemble it, which I did on a live stream. I'll put a link to the, that right up here in the corner. And before that stream was over, I was able to print out this model right here. Now this is a Marvin, and as you'll see by the pictures I'll put down here in the corner, it uh, didn't turn out the greatest when it came to the hoop. Other than that, the rest of it turned out pretty good. You know, I was really kind of surprised how that turned out. And of course I end up printing another one, you know, just to, to play with it. <laughs> but... One thing I, I knew I needed to do, especially when I printed this one right here, was I started smelling some burnt plastic smells. And I, <laughs> knowing the horror stories, I, I kind of knew what it was going to be. So I went ahead and ordered an external MOSFET. I'll put a link to the one I picked up on Amazon down in the video description. But I did not want this laying down on the table or, you know, just hanging around. So the next thing I did, I went ahead and did Tinkercad and I designed this bracket right here. And it's an external MOSFET bracket, connects with two screws. In the case with this, there was enough screws left over, just hooked it right in with the two screws and the two T-nuts. And of course I printed the, the little uh, caps to just press them to place to hold it in the, on there. So while that was printing, that was when I noticed some sparking down here and I was on the circuit board. And what it was is the connectors going into the, from the heated bed, going into it, uh, started sparking. And so I went ahead and that's, I knew right then was going to be, I went and I, I stopped the, I went into the settings on the LCD and turned off the heated bed. Because by that point, the print was getting pretty close to being done. I didn't need to take and, and keep the heated bed on any further. So I went and turned it off. The PI sheet held it just fine. So once the, the bracket was finished printing, the next thing I did is I installed the external MOSFET and then I had to take and desolder that connector for the heated bed, pull that off, kind of drill it out a little bit, get everything cleaned up, resolder the wires going directly to the MOSFET. That went without a hitch on that part. But while I was at it, I found out that there was also an issue when it came to the power wires because they started kind of sparking. So I just went ahead, didn't want to take any chance at all Went ahead and desoldered that connector, drilled the board, and soldered the the power wires from the power supply directly to the board. So it's all hardwired. That way I don't have to worry about a connector coming loose. So once all that was taken care of, the next thing I wanted to do was start playing with it. And so that's why I went ahead and started printing out <laughs> the Daniel Nuray cup holder. Now this was designed by Turkins. Now the bus is from Daniel Nuray. This was off of his site on thingiverse. Uh, Turkins went ahead and added a handle and turned it into cup cozy. And this one's a little bit small so he resized it in this one and then this one he just out, just overdid it. <laughs> he took and made Daniel's, uh, Daniel Norrie's hair really kind of pop out, textured the handle a little bit. Really did a great job on that. I gotta hand it to him. With those taken care of, the next thing I knew I needed to do was do active cooling on it. Now the nice thing about this board is it has a, a spot for connecting the fans control, completely controlled by the software. The nice thing was I knew that from the very beginning so I actually would run an extra set of wires over here for these blowers so that I could just took it into the, into the circuit board when the time came. So I went into the Thingiverse and I found this bracket right here. It's for a dual fan or a dual blower mount. Connects with two screws and printed it no problem at all. And the next thing I went ahead and I did is I put the blowers on it. And in fact, what I did on that one, because I wanted the blower to look nicer, is I taped the fans on, the blowers on, 
printed another one and then installed the new one on there and it made a, such a difference between the those two that it was like night and day so after that i went ahead and i glued them on using crazy glue uh, one thing i'll probably end up doing is go back through some black silicone and just kind of fill in a little bit but that's got plenty of plenty of air coming through i'll put a link to these blowers down in the video description they really do a nice job on it and at 11.99 for for two of them you couldn't go wrong uh, that's just amazing so when that was done the next thing I printed is this Marvin right here and this one right here is probably one of the best Marvins I've ever printed the hoop on it just turned out amazing and that's that's something for that and then once I knew the printer was printing perfectly fine that's when I decided to go ahead and download the model from off a of thingiverse of the meerkats this was the one that I did the video on I'll put a link to that right up here printed really really good I mean the act of cooling made all the difference in the world on it so much that my wife said I want a bigger one <laughs> so <laughs> I printed her a bigger one with that done that's when I decided to go ahead and print this now this has a story behind it and I'll put a link to the blog right up here in the corner um, I went to Manteca and I went to an antique store and they actually had something quite like this sitting there for 65 bucks made out of blue glass and it looked just I loved it but the thing is I've got cats and I know what would happen to something made out of glass as soon as I left the house so I went on to Twitter was playing around with Calvin about designing something like this when I dig 3d come up and said hey I got something like that let me do some modifications he sent me the STL and then he uploaded it to uh, Thingiverse after that and it just simply turned out amazing this is printed in the blue AMZ 3d uh, transparent PLA I believe this took something like 11 or 12 hours and this one took I want to say 40 or 41 hours it's 100% infill 0.1 layer height and just printed great the blower definitely made a difference especially on overhangs and everything that way I could not believe how well that that printed off camera of course I have done a lot of prints I mean I have printed more Marvins I've printed more meerkats <laughs> you name it I've been printing it on this thing and it just simply prints amazing and one of the final upgrades I did is I went ahead and I printed out this bracket these brackets for the LCD which gets it off the desk and it really turned out great so much so where I think this is probably the best printing printer that I have currently have in this office. I could not believe it. <laughs> but uh, just simply amazing. Now, yes, it did take some work. And this is something where if you're brand new to 3D printing and you've never assembled a 3D printer, I would kind of shy away from getting something like this. If you are a tinker that where you like to play around with stuff and you're not afraid of, of wiring and everything, you can't go wrong with this printer. All total and upgrades, I would say I'm less than 50 bucks and that's including the spools of loom that I picked up. Uh, you don't have to spend that much. The, you can pick this up, I believe, in, in 10 foot links or less. I was picking up 50 foot links of it because I got other stuff I'm going to be using it for. Uh, this is quarter inch loom this is half inch loom i actually picked this up on ebay and i'll see if i can put a link to those down in the video description as well but i must say i am very impressed with this printer um i just i could not believe how well it printed and i cannot thank joe over at uh 3d printing professor for donating this to me thank you very much my friend this thing really turned out nice and uh yeah, I got a few more upgrades I want to do. I want to do something about this cable here because with that loom on it, it does scratch my desk going back and forth. So in my videos, you'll see a little box or something behind it where that's running across it. That's mainly to keep it from scratching up the finish on the desk. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you get a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com, where you'll be able to take and purchase merchandise like this from my TeePublic store, or go to the Amazon affiliate and be able to purchase that merchandise from there. Every little bit helps the channel. I sure appreciate it. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out my Patreon page over here. And if you'd like to watch my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to like them. Oh yeah, you're going to love them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.